Welcome back you guys. So this is going to be officially part two. So this is the board, the Arduino Nano. And I already soldered and made sure that the solder went through the center of each pin just to make sure they're not touching. And um, now this is the first time, but I'm going to be taking it off of the board. And see it came off just fine. And now it's stuck on there really nice and tight. And the connections should be really well so when i attach like female connectors to the board then it should work just fine without any issues just like if you was to buy one that already had it soldered so that's it for this one and you can see you can still see all of the um signs so d12 is over here d11 d10 D9, D8. So these are digital pins on this side, and the other side is analog pins, pins basically. And then we have voltage like 5 volt and negative, um, negative 5 and positive 5 volts. So that is all looking pretty well. So now that this is finished, today is pretty much just going to be a day that I'm going to be soldering and attaching stuff. So I got this Wemos board right here so it needs some pins so it's, it doesn't have any attached to it so just like that nano i'm gonna be soldering on my own boards to this but um you can even see these have information so they got tx for transmitter and then rx for receiver and then d1 d2 d3 all the d information and I'm pretty sure it has voltage on here too, just so that way it could turn on.